This is uh, St George's House, uh, one of the most uh, prominent buildings in, uh, in Bolton. And this is our latest regeneration project. It's a 1908 building. It has over the years uh, become uh, somewhat dilapidated. It's been empty for the last two, two years. The, the new um, entrance door will be taking away all the uh, wood um, and plasterboard and basically replacing it with a feature glass entrance. This will be the main reception area going up the grand staircase to the upper floors. We've discovered a very, very early example uh, of a glass lift. It was originally made for the building. This will be our first uh, show suite, uh, ready in June. As you can see, we've exposed the, uh, the original steel columns and the original um, very decorative, uh, well-proportioned uh, plaster, plaster ceilings. This really is a prime example of what we are about. Old, vacant, redundant, economically obsolete, historic. Just the right type of property for us to get our teeth into. What Python have done to this building is tremendous. I've looked at this for over 40 years and wondered what the hell went on inside it. And now Python have opened it up and the public will get a chance to see inside it as well as it being a, a great business opportunity in terms of office accommodation. It's been a, a great uh, joy to see that's a wonderful building with a wonderful history uh, and uh, such a landmark in Belton has been brought to life. The building itself provides around 22,000 square feet of lettable office space. The suites are refurbished to open plan. They've been fitted out to clients' bespoke requirements. Rent's based on 950 a foot. It's 
suites are available on flexible lease terms. The service charge is at £2.75 a square foot, which includes all the usual building services, but also a fully manned reception and full 24 hour access. So there's no cost for exhibiting. Um, exhibitions will run for two months at a time. So within that time, that's six exhibitions a year. So we're keen to have um, photographers, um, textile artists, students, um, you know, or whether it's an art group or a solo artist. So it's been, it's been a great journey actually, and it, but we always knew that uh, this was the building, the building had this capacity to, uh, to achieve that.